So, Damien, hi. Hey, how's it going? I'm going great. What about you? I'm doing all right. I just, uh, we drove up from New York. Yeah. Where we played last night. Uh huh. So it was like a, you know, seven hour drive. All right. But, you know, my son and my wife are here and all my friends are here. So I'm really excited. You know, cool. I'm like, and, and I like, I kind of grew up like half the time around Montreal. All right. Because my mom's from here. All right. So, okay. you know, I like, anytime I can come here and go to La Fleur's, uh -huh. fine by me. I love La Fleur's. <laughs> That meant, was meant to be a product placement. They're not paying me anything, but if they want to... <laughs> <laughs> Is it going to be the first time you perform the uh, Give it, David Comes to Life album in Montreal? Oh, uh, this is our... F I yeah, this is actually... Uh, this is the, uh, the first time we're going to be playing the, uh, some of the songs from the record. We're not starting playing the whole record. Oh, you're not playing the No, record. we don't even know the whole record yet. Oh, really? Yeah, we like... We, pre we we the way we record now is like we I kind of go in at different times. Uh -huh. So all the instruments will go in, and then I'll go in and do vocals after writing lyrics based on the songs, and then Mike will go in and add more guitar, and then Mike will write lyrics and I'll sing Mike's lyrics for other songs. Yeah. And then so we're never in this actually David comes to life. There was not a single day when we were all in the studio at the same time. Oh really? Yeah. It was like we were just, we just learned that you know we still like to record live for the for the sounds of the drums and the guitars, but as far as trying to get us all in there at the same time, we just wind up arguing with each other and it makes it very difficult for everyone involved. So we thought it'd probably be better if we just take our time and do it in different sections. What's the worst stage wound that you ever got? The worst stage move? Yeah. Crush. Wound, wound, like a, a wound. Yeah. The worst stage wound? Yeah. Uh, I crushed a, a pint glass into my head. Yeah. And uh, got glass, it's actually still stuck here. If you pass your finger. Right here. Oh, that right. bump. That's a piece of that's a piece of glass from when I crushed a pint glass in my head in Calgary. Um, that was probably my dumbest injury. But I've done lots of things that actually hurt. That one looked the best because there's lots of blood. Yeah. But at one time I did a flip off the stage and knocked myself unconscious, <laughs> and that was the worst because I felt like an idiot and <laughs> there was no blood, so it didn't look cool. It just looked stupid. So that's right. my dumbest move. Okay. Who's your favorite wrestler? Favorite wrestler of yeah. all time? That is a great question. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say my favorite current wrestler right now, CM Punk. I think he's phenomenal. Right. If I'm going to go with my favorite all-time wrestler, wrestler, oh, that's a really hard one. Uh, Dynamite Kid, I think, is phenomenal. Mike Awesome was amazing. Uh, Sabu, when he was in his prime, was phenomenal. Uh, Mad Dog Vashon. Because we're in Quebec, yeah. I got to go Mad Dog. We're playing now? Oh. Really? Uh, all right, maybe stage. just yeah, no, yeah, absolutely. One, one last question. Take your time. All right, all right, right. They will um, wait for me. What? What? <laughs> so after that opera, which uh, you you said that was the most ambitious project yeah, you ever worked on, uh, what could possibly happen afterwards? Who I mean, knows? You're, you're that's always working that's a stuff. really hard question because it's yeah. like, yeah, like where do you go? You don't really dial it back from your concept record as a band. Yeah. So I think we're just gonna have to change shape. You know, I think we've got a we've just finished a new record which is a collaboration with uh, Jim Jarmusch, the film director, yep. where he does vocals on it. Um, and then we're, gonna, we're starting to talk about this new EP idea I have, which is going to be like a Veronica prequel, where it's just about Veronica's life. And I'm gonna, I, hopefully we're going to work with a bunch of different female singers and All songwriters right. and kind of give, because Veronica kind of comes off very one-dimensional in David Comes to Life. Uh -huh. And so I kind of hopefully we can flesh her out a little more and give her a little bit more of a voice. All right, cool. What's on your rider? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I wanted to we ask have, that. We have a lot of stuff on our rider that we never ever get, with good reason, because we just thought they were funny. We have socks. Yeah. We have six individually wrapped presents. Oh, I'm sorry, this is my son Holden. Ah. My son Holden has just walked over here, and he's now handing me some pine cones. Those are beautiful pine cones, Holden. <laughs> Those are beautiful. Um, yeah, like so on our rider we have socks, guitar strings, batteries and six individually wrapped presents. We never get any of that. Uh, all we care about, to be honest with you, and hopefully no promoters are watching, uh, all we care about is water. You know, that's yeah. the only thing we really need is water. And you, we can make a show. We've like, we've been, when we were in, uh, when we were in, uh, in, in Moscow for the first yeah. time, uh, you know, like there was no rider or anything. So it was just water. And I think that's like, bands forget that, that, you know, bands show up sometimes and they're like complaining about the rider. It's like, you're just in a band. You only need water. Like if you're hungry, go buy your own food. But if you're a promoter, I need my rider every time. <laughs> Without fail, everything. 
Ah! It's over. You're being taken over. away. Well, uh, thank you, guys. Thank you, man. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, I'm being demanded. Here, really. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks.